If you like my videos, please check out my website at creationsciencefiction.com. You'll find articles on creationism there, as well as my blog. I also have a Creation Science Fiction Facebook page now, too. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the absurd claims by Brian Thomas, a creationism salesman who works for the Institute for Creation Research. You can view some of my criticisms of Brian Thomas's other absurd claims at my website at creationsciencefiction.com. Young Earth creationists just can't seem to explain why we don't see any human fossils originating from the same layers as dinosaurs or other extinct creatures, so Brian's come up with a few excuses. Evidently, they had some creation research event, and the most popular question asked was, why don't we find human remains in all the vast rock layers from Noah's flood? His response is, though it's a popular question, it carries one big assumption. Oh, 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 don't say that word. The word assumption is a magic word for creationists. Anytime they're unable to explain something or refute what the other side says, they throw out the word assumption. He goes on to say, many assume. So what he's saying is dinosaur layers don't really have to contain human fossils. Dinosaur fossil layers contain sea, swamp, and lake plants and animals, and mostly water birds. They have virtually no remains of land dwellers like dogs, deers, bears, and bunnies. Well, gee, maybe it could be that dogs, deers, bears, and bunnies weren't around for tens of millions of years until after dinosaurs went extinct. Humans live on solid ground, not in swamps, and definitely not in pre-flood swamps where dinosaurs might treat them as light snacks. The best places to look for fossils of pre-flood humans would be in deposits that contain land dwellers like pre-flood dogs and deer. While many dinosaurs certainly were land dwellers, I've never seen a creationist claim either that there was such a thing as a pre-flood dog or deer ever found. He goes on to say, most flood-friendly geologists have identified Cenozoic rocks as Ice Age layers that formed soon after the flood. Others have recently reconsidered them to be flood deposits, so we haven't been looking for pre-flood humans in rock layers we thought were deposited after the flood. It would be extremely rare for any young earth creationist to claim that layers during the Ice Age were layers made during the flood. But even if they did, the problem still remains. Even though those layers contain human remains, they don't contain any dinosaurs. He goes on to blame the lack of objective workers. Evolutionary scientists might not admit a human fossil that's out of place with their man-made view of history. In 2011, a team described a perfectly formed human foot bone, the fourth metatarsal. It came from earlier than expected layers. Remarkably, they decided that some kind of extinct ape had human feet. But that's not true. What they actually determined was that Australopithecine feet had evolved to walk upright like humans. In 1980, a report described human footprints at Laetoli in Tanzania. The evolutionary age for the track layer was over 3 million years, long before modern humans were supposed to have evolved. Therefore, researchers concluded that ape-like human ancestors walked just like humans. They should have just admitted that people were walking before they expected. Well, people, as in humans, hadn't evolved yet. There's no evidence that people, as in humans, lived three million years ago. So no, it's assigned to Australopithecus, a species that was alive at the time. Now let's take a look at some short clips from a video that ICR made that accompanied the article. Once again, dinosaurs were land dwellers. There's absolutely no question whether or not dinosaurs were land dwellers. So all the humans were pulverized by the flood, none of the other animals, but this is the same flood that also was supposed to have perfectly preserved fossils by covering them rapidly. So they need new scientists. 
new scientists that are open to the idea the Earth is 6,000 years old and people rode dinosaurs. The problem is if you teach children that when they're young, they're never going to pass the courses required to become a scientist and discover what they think they need to go out and discover. So in other words, creationists won't find human fossils with dinosaurs until they can find scientists who are open to believing the Earth is 6,000 years old, but none of those people would pass the classes required to become a scientist. Well, try as they might, I don't think these creationists are ever going to find the evidence they want to, and I think they need to stop making assumptions. Oh, we did it again! Oh, sorry, it was my fault that time.